It's Friday, so of course today's players are making things a little bit difficult for me. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. Our two-time defending champion, Kerry, has 11-6, just barely half of Tom's total. 20,800. Nice tie, Tom. Pat, 8,000. Effectively eliminated. Tom leads Kerry by 9,200. Uh, and she doesn't have that amount. So it's pretty straightforward. Kerry has to go all in. If she does double up, she's going to have 20... 3,200, so to cover that, that's going to be 2,401 uh, out of Tom. And you'll want to stay above Pat. Pat does up at 16,000, so that's a difference of 4,800. So cap that at 47.99. Tom wagered 9,300, which is just not a good wager. Yes, maybe you like European history, and uh, maybe it's your strong suit, but you never want to let a player back into contention who's already eliminated. It's basically the same thing as a Clavin, because look what would have happened had Carrie missed. Had Carrie missed, she would be down at $2. Pat, against all odds, would have won. Instead of Tom winning with a, a lower score than he might have had otherwise, but still winning, taking that money and coming back the next day. Don't hurt your chances of winning by letting someone back in. Now, speaking of letting people back in, Tom had an anti-penultimate wager with... Uh, Two clues left to play. He found the daily double under a $1,200 clue. He had 16 8. So, under a $1,200 clue in a category that I like, first thing I'm thinking is how do I win this game right away? Let's see what Carrie has if uh, she gets that remaining $800 clue. She's going to have 12 4. So, to guarantee a win, I'm going to have to double that 24 8. That's a wager of 8,001. That'd be my go-to, probably. So what happens if I get it wrong with that? I'm down to 8,600. All right, sorry, 8,800. I'm still within striking distance in Final Jeopardy. I still have a lead against Pat. The best she can do, assuming I don't miss, is tie me heading into Final. And, uh, you know, if I'm feeling comfortable with the category, I don't want to put the dice out on the table for that final Jeopardy clue. If I'm less confident in the category, <clears throat> one thing that was okay about Tom's wager is that assuming no one gets that last $800 clue, he wagered 3200 is uh, the difference between Tom and Carrie's totals, 8400 that eliminates Pat, but of course that didn't turn out to mean anything <laughs> in this game. Uh, uh, anything else that I would consider not I guess on a smaller range, um, to get above two-thirds of carry score, half of carry score is going to be 5,800. So 17.4, I consider wagering 601, or if I'm uh, thinking that carry might get that $800 clue, that should be at 12.4, and half of that is uh, 6,200, so that's a total of 18.6. So maybe his best wager is 1801 if he wants to go small. But again, having an anti-penultimate or penultimate wager is great because, especially if you're in the lead, it helps you decide, do I want to put this game away now or do I want to take a chance that Final Jeopardy is going to be uh, more amenable to my likings? And uh, Tom picked 3200, didn't work out. It did work out, but it didn't work out in the end. And uh, Carrie, back-to-back three-time champs. We'll see if she can... Strangely, or take Michael Bilo on the TSC leaderboard on Monday. Happy Passover. Happy Easter. Enjoy the weekend. This is the final wager.